Welcome to the School of Wine. I'm Ian Dogherty. This is the first in a series of videos where we're going to show you the basics of wine tasting and give you an idea of the different styles of wine that are available so that you never have to get lost in a wine list or in front of the daunting wall of wine in a supermarket ever again. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of the wine tasting technique that the professionals use. This will help you to get the best of the wine in your glass. You'll see this on the screen whenever we share one of these pro tips, so keep an eye out for that. Today, I've got two glasses of wine, uh, one white and one red. I've picked a Chenin Blanc from the Loire Valley in northern France for the white because it has great balance, but primarily because it has great acidity. All wines have acidity, and it's this that makes wine refreshing. You detect acidity on the sides of your tongue, and it's the sensation of your mouth watering. Depending on how high the acidity is in a particular wine, it won't always make your mouth water like it will with this wine, for example, but there will always be a degree of it. Generally, acidity is higher in wines from cooler climates, so think of Chablis or Sancerre from France, but sometimes the grape itself has naturally high levels of acidity, so Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, whilst grown in a warmish climate, also has very high acidity. Let's test for acidity with this white wine. Now, I could just have a mouthful and swallow it, but it wouldn't really have a chance to dance around and get to know me, so I'm going to slurp and swill. Now, this is your first pro tip. Slurping and swilling the wine pulls air over it, which opens out the flavour and means that it comes into contact with all of your mouth. So when I do it, I'll sense the acidity on the side of my tongue. Slurp and swill. I'll demonstrate this, but it's a bit noisy. Now by slurping, I really opened out that flavour. And you can probably tell by the way I'm speaking now that my mouth is watering. That's the acidity. It's very high in this wine, but that's only part of the story of wine. You can tell a lot about a glass of wine by the way it smells. This wine, like I say, is from the Loire Valley, which is a cool to mild climate, so I'd expect to be able to smell that freshness. Now I'm definitely getting eight apples, apricots, and yeah, just a hint of nut. So really get a good sniff and get the most out of it. And really don't worry about feeling silly doing this. All of these techniques make quite a racket. But if you do them often enough, you'll soon start to feel perfectly natural doing them and you'll always be able to enjoy the best of your wine. That said, I don't think I'd start slurping away in the middle of dinner uh, with friends uh, or something like that. But when you're by yourself and experimenting, really go for it. So let's have a look at this red wine. <clears throat> it's a Zinfandel from California, and the most important thing for us today is its tannin. Tannin is the sensation of dryness and grippiness on your teeth and gums. You might sometimes notice it, for example, uh, if you have a really well-brewed cup of tea. That's tannin. Tannin in red wine gives it robustness and structure, and also helps it to age. The easiest way to practice detecting tannin is to chew. And this is your second pro tip, chew your wine. This will help break it all up and get it properly distributed around your mouth. So take a small mouthful and then chew like this. Wow, that's tannic. And it's good because it tells me that this wine will last. And because I can also detect acidity on the side of my tongue, I know that this wine is nicely balanced. And those two factors together tell me it will definitely reward a couple of years hiding away in the cellar. So bring all of these techniques together when you're tasting wine, and before long you'll have built up a great sense memory of how they all work together. Try it on any wine that you have knocking around, or buy a special bottle, it really doesn't matter. Just join me next time when I'll be talking about aromas. So until then, this is Ian Dogherty from the School of Wine wishing you happy tasting. <laughs>